we want to determine the complement of the union of A and B and the complement of the intersection of A and B. Let's try to visualize these using Venn diagrams. The complement of the union of A and B is equal to not A or B. So the union of A and B would be the region in A or in B, or in both, which would be inside this region here. So if inside this region is A union B, then the complement of the union of A and B would be outside this region, meaning this region here. And now let's consider the complement of the intersection of A and B, which again is the same as not A and B. Let's first consider A intersect B. In the Venn diagram, this would be the overlapping region of A and B inside this region here. So if inside this region here is A intersect B, then the complement of the intersection of A and B would be outside this region, meaning this region here. Now that we have a better understanding of the complement of the union of A and B, and the complement of the intersection of A and B, the question becomes, is there another way to express the same sets? And in fact there is. The complement of the union of A and B is equal to A complement intersect B complement. Or we can say not A or B is equal to not A and not B. And let's go ahead and show this using the Venn diagrams. Let's graph A complement, then graph B complement, and then determine the intersection of the two sets in the first Venn diagram, and then we'll show the result on the Venn diagram on the right, which should be the same as the complement of the union of A and B. So first, let's graph A complement. So if inside this set is A, then outside this set would be A complement or not A, which is this light blue region. And now let's graph B complement or not B, so if inside this region is B, then outside this region would be not B or B complement, which is this light green region. And again, we're trying to show the complement of the union of A and B equals A complement intersect B complement, so we're looking for the intersection of the light blue and light green regions, meaning the region that is shaded twice and notice how that would be the region outside A union B, which again is the same as the complement of the union of A and B. So the final result of A complement intersect B complement, again is the same as the complement of the union of A and B, which is this region here. And this is actually De Morgan's first law. De Morgan's first law states, the complement of the union of A and B is equal to A complement intersect B complement. Now we want to determine a second way to express the complement of the intersection of A and B. And once again, this can be done. The complement of the intersection of A and B is equal to A complement union B complement. Or we can say not A and B is equal to not A or not B. And again, let's go ahead and show this by using the Venn diagrams above. Once again, let's grab A complement, then B complement, and then determine the union from the Venn diagram. So once again, A complement is the region outside A, which once again is this region. And now let's graph B complement, which would be the region outside B, which is this light green region. which is this region here. But this time we're looking for A complement union B complement, meaning not A or not B, which would be the region shaded once or twice, which is all the region except the region inside the intersection of A and B. So this does show that A complement union B complement is equal to the complement of the intersection of A and B, which once again would be this region here. And this is De Morgan's second law. De Morgan's second law states the complement of the intersection of A and B equals A complement union B complement. 
So this is not a proof of De Morgan's first and second law, but hopefully it's a useful illustration. Thank you for watching.